Mm -mm. The gap between the rich and the poor doesn't matter because what do I want to go with? Oh, there's there's at least 3.5 million recorded job openings right now. So if somebody wanted to make more money, they have opportunity. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Okay. That may be true, but not everyone has the skill to fill those jobs. All you have to do is go to high school. <laughs> Other people have, but your life gets in the way sometimes. Stuff happens that you can't like wait for fill high school. So you want everyone to feel bad for you? <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you trying to I tell them? I'm just saying, not everyone has the skills to fill those jobs. So if there's opening, it's useless that they can't. If you have the skill job. to write a sign for protesting, you have the skill to go and fill out a job right Yeah, yeah. Go up and tap tap them out. Now they're they're getting into silliness away. They're no, getting away true. from that's the textbook. True. You got a point there, though. They're getting away from the textbook. Go in and tap them out. If that was the case, why doesn't everyone just have them? Go tap them out. Nico, go tap them out. Nico, lazy. Nico. Really? Nico. Tap one. Yeah. You're lazy. Look how safe we can play. Nico, go to the go to the middle so you can get your points. Alright, I'm So far, I have two people's names on the list, and we sound Alright, cool, man. Diego, Diego, I'm recording this. Um, come on, guys. How do I start? Just say this. Say it very loud. It doesn't matter. Um, the movement of the people among income classes is substantial in the U.S. economy. Movement up the income ladder can be due to good luck or hard work, and movements down the ladder can be due to bad luck or laziness. So I have to stick to the textbook? <laughs> Hopefully somebody from your side will come tap you out so they'll get points, just like Anna has. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, Did you answer? No. Because none of my points are like, not Someone have won. Who have won? 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 Who the wealth gap in the United States doesn't matter because in some cases wealth is a result of a good education. No. Not to stick to the textbook. No. Uh, the gap matters because it's not about education. Most of the thing is about um, either with race. Black people and Hispanic have more chance to live in poverty than anybody else. So but it's wealth not about is also inherited. What? From your <laughs> like, if no, it's about race. Since black people and anybody else, white people have uh, like 19 percent, nine percent would be in poverty. The blacks and Hispanic have 24 and 23. So either if you're educated or not, it belongs in the end of the race. <laughs> Well, for one, it doesn't matter because economic mobility tells that movements have been happening for a while now, and the poverty line has been declined since 1960. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go to college. Oh. <laughs> okay. So the poverty rate has, is 13.2, hasn't changed since 1973 due to equality and equality. So it prevents poor families from enjoying, so that doesn't make sense because it hasn't changed since 1973. And other factors factor in, such as... <laughs> yeah, 420. Um, <laughs> such as sex and age. Female-led families without a male or spouse are six times likely to, be, to live in poverty, while well as people higher. So if a husband was, say, deceased, they're six times likely to be in poverty, and that's out of the control. Age also factors in. If you're, the younger you are, the more likely to live in poverty. There are some states that don't even that. use the poverty line anymore. Government statistics are outdated. It's the same system that's been used. They only adjust it for inflation. Damn. Go to college. Go to college. I need a tag. <laughs> um. <laughs> tag me, Nico. <laughs> This sucks. Can I just say one. my thing from here, Connor? Nope, you gotta go. You gotta put your thing up there. I'm not gonna where the camera is. Oh, you gotta say that.
on pages. I got to page 20, I didn't read that far. I was late. <laughs> yeah, that. Oh, I'm Oh, you keep going? What's up, lady friend? Um, the, um, Nico, put it down! Sorry. A study done by the Census Bureau found that if kind transfers were included in income at their market value, the number of families in poverty would decrease by 10%. But there are still people in poverty, correct? <laughs> It says one in four families fall below the poverty line annually, but um, they eventually. So, how many people do we have in this class? Twenty. So five people, according to that, five people in this class yeah, have families in poverty. <laughs> but, but they come up. <laughs> <laughs> and if that's the case, look at the countries that don't care about poverty: Mexico, Brazil, aren't. That's right. <laughs> Countries that have a more equal distribution are advanced and prosperous countries, such as Germany, Japan. Japan, and Germany. Thank Brazil. you. Brazil? And then Brazil, Mexico, as Canada. are usually all countries that are poverty and have problems within the country. Yeah, we're not Brazil and Mexico. What are we talking about? But if about we, the United States. But, yeah, if we don't care about the gap, then we could become countries oh, like Brazil about and Mexico. Areas? Yes. The poverty rate is going to fluctuate no matter what. It's going to go up. It's going to go down. So, oh, shit. According, to, <laughs> according to Diego, it just goes down. Only oh, it doesn't out. go down? Well, that's what he just said. He just said one out of five. He said it decreased. That if government aid was included, there would be less people in poverty. But there's still people in poverty. There's always going to be people in poverty. Exactly. So that's what we're trying to do is always constantly. We're in the area of discussing po or the poverty rate, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, this poverty rate or rate may succumb to a, a life cycle or the life cycle that was discussed later in the chapter. Maybe the life cycle. Or it was also said that the life cycle could be set at a random precedent instead of following a certain order. So maybe this person may have been wealthy on a theoretical level mm -hmm. and then became you know, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, uh, destitute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't understand what you said. <laughs> <laughs> it's just what random. What did you write down? For me? <clears throat> yes, Brandon. The poverty rate doesn't take any government resources into account because it doesn't account for taxes and income. Well, the government does slightly play a role because they actually do set the precedent. The absolute line. <laughs> They're given opportunities. <laughs> okay, and that could also, or, but unfortunately, that uh, affects the working class because in order to provide for the destitute, you have to uh, take from the uh, working class, you know, taxes, etc. <laughs> okay, I'm taking a point off of Byron. No, you're not. <laughs> taking two points off of Byron. Just take one off. Three points off the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Going to take a point off of Melissa. Okay, she's been talking the whole We're time. We're talking about the off. argument. So is he. Well, don't Tap him in if you want to talk. Oh, you're not thinking about the point Yeah. See, that's just because of the point. Trying to encourage people who haven't talked yet. Go in and talk. It's an easy ten points. Okay, so the poor are given opportunities by government by like giving them medic I mean Medicare, um, medical help and and welfare, and they oh. don't put their um, effort in trying to get a job and getting their life stable. Yeah, and that's <clears throat> it. Does the lean or that's why it's important because it takes from the working class. They don't do anything. The working class does everything. So it is important to know. But then, yeah, the poor don't give effort into it. That's why it doesn't matter. Well, it matters on an informal level.
go tag. Battle of the Scour Jets. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if different things are compared, then we find that there are different people who are poor. So if you measure, like, how many, uh, I don't know. But the poor isn't who we're talking about. We're not talking about the poor, we're talking about the middle class. Our gap between the poor and the rich are getting bigger because the middle class is starting to go down into the poor. We want to keep that middle class. That's what we're talking but about. The people who are poor, the if you look here, in the book, it's gone down. What do you mean? It's four percent compared to what it was. It's lower than it's ever been. Yeah, that's bad. That means. The poor, <laughs> the poor classes, the poor people, they've gone, like, <laughs> the bottom fifth has decreased, meaning more people have gotten out of being poor. That's more saying how much, they, how much they own of the, of the, the income of the United yeah, States. Yeah, so they own less. Oh. Not of how much. How does this go? Yeah. Which point? Don't use my good ones. My point? Yeah, which point? You guys keep on talking about how the poor aren't doing anything to get out of being poor, but we're not talking about poor, we're talking about the middle class. The middle class is trying to stay in the middle class, but they keep on going down. So the poor people aren't a part of the gap, or...? They are, but we're mainly talking about the middle class. Or are you mainly talking about no, the middle class? we are mainly talking about the middle class. That's okay. what the whole curve is. So what's, the, what's your argument for the middle class, or your point for the middle class? I just said it. They're, they're going down into the poor. We need to keep that up there. We need to keep it equal so that we have an actual middle class. Okay, so in order to keep that equal, what are they... I mean, I don't get what you're trying to tell me. I, I really don't. I don't get what she's saying. I don't know. How like how are, how are they how are they getting poor? I don't know, I don't know how to say it. I can't say it. I don't know. Explain how they're getting poor. It. I can't explain. Stupid. <laughs> All right, I don't see how they're getting poor. Like that's that's my problem. So I can't mm. like. Okay, somebody that hasn't talked. Just start calling people. Just, I know, man. Maybe just call people from their seat. Maybe no. they record. Yeah, what about the, I don't know. No. Nope. You know who? I'm sorry. There's something. <laughs> Really and if you get nervous or something, I'll tap you out right away. Alright. Oh, wait. Oh, no. 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 Okay. I guess Francisco kind of messed up his argument. <laughs> but even though the bottom, bottom fifth, the middle fifth, the second fifth, they're all declining in their own of the wealth. The poverty rate is still going down. But it goes back up. This is only up to 2008. It's going up. And you learn this where? No, look at the graph. It goes up. It's lower than there. But it's going back up. This is That's only 2008. We're in 2011 already. Almost 2012. If we had the data for the other ones, it would be higher than that. It could easily go up and then go back down. How do you know it's going to go back down? We yeah, haven't had any. We haven't. Up. We haven't had anything where it's going down yet. We are going up from all these foreclosures and all these um, people losing their jobs, all the la the layoffs and everything. That's showing that our poverty rate is going up. Okay, so poverty rate may going be going up, but how do you know the upper class isn't losing their houses, losing their jobs as well? Uh, don't have an argument for that. I was saying how the poverty rate is decreasing and even though the percentage of wealth that the bottom class has is also decreasing. Um, 
it just doesn't fit in as much as, like, okay. Okay, so you're saying that. <laughs> see how it's decreasing? Yeah. And see how their percentage of the wealth is decreasing? Yes. I'm saying that the... It doesn't... Affect them? Effect, yeah. It has no effect. Okay, but when you see this, as the poverty rate is increasing right here, that means that the, the gap is going to be more unequal. Uh, the poverty rate is increasing and uh, the inequality there is there's going to be an inequality in the distribution of income there's always going to be an inequality but but even higher it, it, there's going to be even more of an inequality.